So camping, let's talk about camping for a little bit. I'm not interested in overlanding. I am definitely uh, campgrounds with a toilet, a shower, um, parking spaces, rangers that drive around, neighbors that are nearby and paid to be here, not looking for a free ride. So there's a lot of reasons why I like camping in um, state parks. I also do some national parks. Uh, but this state parks have electricity, and during the summer, I've got power demands, especially for my 12,000 watt BTU air conditioner for the for the ice fishing shanty. But anyhow, camping. Why why do we camp? I've been trying to understand why. So you. Look at this view behind me. I mean, right now it's the middle of the afternoon. It's really warm. It's tough to be out here um, with the humidity, uh, especially since I have an air, air conditioning. If I didn't have that, I'd probably be used to it right now. It's just a lot of work to go camping for that view behind me, but it's also the the other senses, the, the salt air, the, the sea breeze, if you will, the extra humidity, the inconveniences. To make coffee this morning, I had to kind of found everything quicker than normal because I've ten, been tend to put stuff back in the right spot. But it just there was a lot more steps to make coffee out here than was at home. Tomorrow will be easier. Um, to to make lunch, I had to bring out the hot plate, and uh, we had a storm coming, so I had to put the hot plate away after I cooked lunch. Couldn't leave it out there. Um, there's just... It's not really a sense of survival um, or sense of making my own comfort or a sense of accomplishment. It's, it's, a, it's a battle with the comfort zone. How's that? When I stay at home and I've got my comforts, I've got my boundaries, I've got my schedule... And everything, I'm a, I'm in a rut. I'm in a and, and I and I actually at work like a rut. I like being in a rut at work. Um, same job, same thing every day. I'll go in, do my time with dignity and honor, and then I clock out and I leave the job behind me. Now when I go home, do I want to still be in a rut? And obviously, I don't. It's okay if I did, and at some point, I will. But right now, I really enjoy the. The traveling, I'm, I'm doing once a month, uh, one long weekend a month, like three nights. And then uh, I think maybe I'll step it up here a little bit. Uh, but then life still happens. I still have to do other stuff. Like all this gear always needs maintenance. Coming out here for this trip, the refrigerator, um, it started up all right. And everything was chilling. I put a few things in there, got a few more things. And the refrigerator died on me and wouldn't start. I had no idea. And it's the one I just got in April. All right, so why do I like camping? I remember my first camping trip as a child. We're all lined up on the picnic table that's in the campground. And mom's got this bucket and a washcloth. And she's going around washing all our feet in our, you know, sort of a sponge bath, if you will. But particularly the feet. And then dad hand carries us in, into the tent. And then we have to stay clean. <laughs> um, that's what, it's an emotional memory, but mom was a cleaning fanatic. But anyhow, there were at least four of us kids. I remember that sitting on the table and getting that uh, sponge bath and then thrown into the tent. I don't know, we, we probably only spent one night out there. But something clicked, and we continued camping. Uh, Dad got a bigger tent, and I remember he loaded up the car and uh, had this big old tent on top, an old army tent. And then we had cots, and we had every, all the other comforts that you started acquiring to make it more comfortable while you're out here. <clears throat> and then I remember saying something about he put too much weight on the roof. I don't know if he damaged the roof or just the center of gravity was so disturbed. I remember back in the days when we didn't worry about safety uh, belts or 
issues so much. Then we ended up with a, a pop-up camper. And we'd spent one year, I remember, six weeks out at a campground that commuted. Um, well, that's what I remember right now. And uh, Dad worked in Detroit, so we camped north of Detroit, Paradise Lake. And he commuted to work, so Mom had to take care of us out there at the campground. And a big treat was to go down to the, of course, to the lake to go swimming. But then by the lake over there was a concession stand, and we'd get the, like a frozen Snickers bar or a Milky Way frozen candy bar. And uh, that was that was the treat. There were some kids, some boys nearby. And, uh, of course, this campground obviously didn't have a, we had a portable toilet, which Dad could dump the tank or something. But a lot of the other RVs that had the big tanks that were staying out there extended time, there were these boys that had one of the portable tanks, and they would go around and they would offer for X amount of dollars or whatever. At the time, they, they would empty people's tanks with this portable tank. Dad thought that would be a good business for me to, to invest in one of the portable tanks and, and offer tank training service. I said, fuck, no, there's no way I'm doing that. That kind of work got standards it was but they the kids that got their extra uh, treats down on the commissary and showed off their extra money but uh they could have it first time i took my kids camping juanita was still in diapers and i bought a like a cabin style colbin tent and went to uh, lake whipperwell we had a nice grassy spot and uh I somehow managed for the weekend to to camp with uh, my daughters, and it was um, I'm sure they don't remember it. But that's when I revitalized that dream of from that nightmare. <laughs> The nightmare from when I was a kid and continued it on because now my daughters are both campers and enjoy getting out and the discomforts of camping versus the the benefits and the, and the learning or the joy of camping. It's, it's hard to explain. If you're already a camper, you know what I'm talking about. So now we emerge um, when I met my wife and before we were married, our first trip, we stayed in the cabin and had a great time. And then I talked her into, let's start investing in a, we got a dog and then you can't stay in the cabins in Florida anyhow. Um, so we started investing in our camping gear, camping setup, but she, she didn't like the camping. During perfect conditions. But she didn't have it as a kid. That's, uh, that's sad. That's a loss. It's hot out here. I'm sweating like crazy. Time to get back in the AC. Uh, 